So right now you're thinking, what, what is, is OCVTS? Well, it's Ocean County Vocational Technical School, and it's what's going to put you on the fast track to your career. At OCVTS, we offer a wide range of courses, all geared towards preparing students just like you for the future profession of their choice. We feature six major areas of study, like service occupations, construction trades, applied arts, transportation technologies, engineering, computer and design, and health technologies. No matter which path is for you, at OCVTS we're committed to giving our students the education and experience they need to excel in their field. We like this opportunity to highlight each of our areas of study and hopefully we'll answer any questions you may have along the way. Service Occupations For students seeking a career working with people, OCVTS offers a diverse range of courses. Culinary Arts gives you experience in food preparation, service, and management in a fast-paced environment. I'm in the culinary program because I love baking and I don't know how to cook so I want, I want to learn how to cook. Culinary is the best. I decided that I wanted to come here because I grew up always loving cooking. I love coming here. Uh, I want to go to college, Johnson & Wales, to pursue my culinary education. Start working towards a career caring for children, ranging in age from infants through preschool. I actually went to the program because I wanted to be an elementary teacher. In class we learn about nutrition, curriculum prep. My favorite part of the class is learning all the different things that children need. Fashion design and merchandising develop skills in clothing and accessory design and retail presentation. All my life I've always wanted to do fashion. Ever since I could draw, I've always knew that that's what my dream is. It's a lot of fun. We're going to do a lot of sewing and a lot of illustration and a lot of rendering. It's cool seeing our visions come to life. And next is making full-size garments for ourselves. Our cosmetology program teaches students all aspects of hair, skin, and nail care including business management, preparing the students for the state licensing exam. It feels completely different than what high school feels like. It's like I can come here and be myself and do what I love and my passion, which is cosmetology. After I graduate, I want to go to college so I can get like my business degree, but I really want to be like a hairstylist or a makeup artist. Can anyone get in? Programs are available to high school students in Ocean County. Some of the courses have prerequisites that must be met, so ask your guidance counselor for more information. And of course, early registration is always recommended. These courses fill up quick. OCVTS currently has over 2,000 students. We have six campuses in Ocean County. These six locations, as well as AM and PM sessions, keep class sizes small. Construction Trades. Build skills for your future. Students in Manufacturing Engineering Technology will explore the essentials of advanced manufacturing, including manual machining operations, production planning, metal fabrication, and CNC theory and operation. We had uh, OSHA 10 certification, which is a 10-hour course that uh, kind of goes over all of the topics about different safety hazards and what to do and what not to do in certain situations. It's great. We need more young machinists in the world, especially females. So if you have like the smallest inkling that you might want to do it, just go for it. Building construction technology teaches students framing, siding, roofing, drywall, and you'll actually build a house. I really enjoy being out in the shop and just working with my hands. My plan currently is to uh, enter the Carpenters Union. Begin your career as an electrician. In electrical trades, learn the theory, design, and application of residential wiring, as well as the fundamentals of voice, data, and video cabling. What I've learned to do, I've learned to basically install outlets, switches, light fixtures, EMT boards, all that kind of good stuff, you know. It's fun. Favorite part is probably the hands-on, like when we get to wire stuff. 
Learn to install, repair, and maintain heating, air conditioning, and commercial refrigeration equipment, including piping installation and basic plumbing concepts in HVAC R. The classroom environment is great too, especially being the only girl, you would think it's a little overwhelming, but a lot of the guys in the classroom are super nice and just super helpful. After high school, I'm going to University of Northwestern Ohio. I'm doing a double major in robotics and HVAC. In custom woodworking and design, students use prints, specifications, and shop drawings to plan creative, hands-on projects in the most effective manner. My favorite part of coming is actually working in the shop and building my own project and seeing it from the blueprints actually come out and delivering it to the people that I'm building it to and seeing their faces. We're always building something with our hands. We're always learning something new. After graduation, I plan on working in the cabinetry field and hopefully owning one of my own business. Does welding spark your interest? Then let our hands-on program show you a variety of welding and metal fabrication processes. I truly do love to weld, so I would like to be the best in my field. After I graduate, I would love to go into welding engineering. The Heavy Equipment Operator Program is designed to provide students with the knowledge, skills, and competencies to operate and maintain a diverse range of heavy construction equipment. This program will develop students' abilities through the use of state-of-the-art simulators, a nationally recognized curriculum and certifications, and experiences with authentic field machinery and local employers. New for September, in plumbing, pipe fitters, steam fitters, and fire suppression systems, students will learn the hands-on skills necessary to assemble, maintain, and repair water, gas, and other piping systems used in homes, businesses, and industry. This program will prepare students for the diverse skill set necessary to enter a career in residential, commercial, or industrial plumbing fields. When would I go and how would I get there? Part of every school day would be spent at OCVTS. A bus will pick you up and return you to your high school. You'd still take classes at your high school, participate in sports and activities, and graduate from there. I am actually the drum major in our school band, in which I uh, practice every day after school. So I come here, go back to school, and then after school I practice, do all my homework. You know, I have time for everything. Applied Arts. Students enrolled in design and visual communications will learn a wide variety of skills to be competent in many multimedia careers. I took the class because I really wanted to do graphic design and learn how to use different tools and apps. Take courses in digital art and design, animation, web design, and video production. This year I'm learning how to Photoshop mostly right now, and then I also use a laser printer. Learn the traditional and digital techniques of photography, film, darkroom processing, and studio lighting. Study digital reproduction with courses in screen printing and production graphics. I like to animate and I like to use Photoshop a lot. And uh, we actually get to do hands-on work. Can I still go to college? Of course. OCVTS encourages students to further their education after graduation. In most cases, you'll even have a head start. Many of the courses allow you to earn college credits in your field while learning the valuable skills you need anyway. Contact your guidance counselor to find out the benefits of the program you're interested in. In addition to college credits, some courses offer internships, job placement, and licensing certificates. Transportation Technologies Automotive technology introduces the concepts and theories of maintenance, service, and repair. I am in automotive technology. Right now we're currently working on circuits and uh, building them, breaking them down, learning how they work throughout the cars. Everything from uh, suspension, brakes, uh, engine work. Right now we're learning electrical and the theory behind it, which is pretty interesting. Diesel engine technology explores the fundamentals of gas and diesel engines. It's a really good program because the diesel industry is like booming and there's a lot of jobs opening up and it's extra help like getting towards your job and your career. 
Mostly we're out in the shop doing hands-on learning, taking apart motors, putting them back together. After I graduate, uh, I'm going into the Air Force as a uh, diesel mechanic. Collision Repair teaches auto body repair, refinishing, and other crucial skills required by the collision repair industry. We're learning proper application of body filler, proper application of paint, proper steps to do the right job. Sanding, painting, prepping, finishing, refinishing, and like working with air tools and, and different tools depending on the project. They're trying to get every aspect of the shop into our two hour time that we have with them. Marine service technology concentrates on the mechanical repair and maintenance of all types of watercraft. I'm in marine service technology. I decided to take it because I grew up around the water and when I was looking for a career, figured what better to do than something that I have a passion for. I wanted to take it because I grew up on the water. Uh, my family has always had boats, multiple. I've always worked on them and it's just a career I wanted to pursue. Students spend time in the shop and on the water. I want to get into more of like the diagnostics and then hopefully after that on my own marina. When can we apply? Applications are already being sent in, so if you see a course that's right for you, talk to your guidance counselor and fill one out today. Engineering, Computer and Design These courses are great for anyone who wants a comprehensive and practical background in a computer-related field. Learn entry-level skills like theory of PC operation, assembly and troubleshooting. I'm in computer service and repair, and I took it because I have a very high interest in computers and technology and just repairing computers. A while ago we were learning about motherboards and we were going through that and now we're on hard drives, CPUs, but there's so much more to cover and I can't wait for it. Computer science gives students a foundation in programming and web design. Quite the variety of things from Visual Basic to JavaScript to Java all the way to SQL and PHP. Probably like problem solving. If there is a problem with the coding, I like going into it and figuring out what's wrong with it, trying to fix it. I love it, yeah. In the STEM-based pre-engineering technology program, students apply engineering principles and technical skills while learning hand drafting, 2D and 3D CAD designs, robotics, and 3D printing prototyping. Very hands-on, we do pretty much, we're always either on the computer or doing the robots or doing something with the 3D printing is fun. Students will be exposed to the current and relevant career pathways in related industry sectors such as industrial, mechanical, and electronic engineering. It's good if you want to go into the engineering field, it will give you a heads up on what's coming at you in college and what you'll know. My favorite part of coming in is getting to see kids from other schools and making new friends and also using technology and programs that I wouldn't have the opportunity to at my house or at my own home school. How much does it cost? That's the best part. As long as you're a high school student in Ocean County, the courses are free. A few classes may require small fees for uniforms or other activities, but the resources and technology available are priceless. Health Technologies In medical skills and related health careers, students explore different options in the medical field. I really enjoy helping people and this class seems like the best way to do it and Mrs. Fritz has been really, really uh, supportive with helping us learn these different skills that we're going to need in our field. My favorite part of the class is when we have our clinical days. We look professional and we go to Rose Garden and we take care of the patients and it's actually fun to do because you interact with the patients, you take care of them. And After I graduate, I want to go straight into OCC and from OCC I want to go into Keene so I can eventually get be a registered nurse and then get my bachelor's degree in nursing. The medical assistant course emphasizes physician assisting skills, including vital sign monitoring, electrocardiogram administration, and venipuncture. I decided to join because when I'm older I want to become a trauma nurse, so I thought it would be a good step to get into the medical field. You learn billing and coding and telephone skills, and in clinical year you learn height and weight, how to take blood pressure, all the vital signs, and also how to take live venipuncture. Health and fitness technology introduces students to the fields of fitness, personal training, nutrition, and physical rehabilitation. I'm in health and fitness technology and I took the program because we get a personal training certification through it and I love to inspire others to work out and make sure they're doing everything right. You know, I have a big interest in fitness. You learn the proper techniques to 
exercises. Um, you learn how to design programs for people with conditions that maybe they can't work out very well. Or, you know, we learn anatomy, a lot about the body, and we learn nutrition. Dental assisting teaches the vital aspects of working in the dental field, including dental hygienist, lab or x-ray technician, and even a dentist. I'm in the dental assisting program and I chose it because I've always loved dental. The teachers teach you everything you need to know and they prepare you really well for when you go into an office. My favorite part of the class would have to be my classmates and the teacher. Like, they're very straightforward. As a career, I would love to be a dental hygienist. Are your graduates usually successful? Well, see for yourself. I came from here, I graduated from here, I teach in the same classroom that I did graduate from. I just love this school, I love what we stand for. For me, it's personal. I am a true OCVTS poster child. Here I was able to take what I learned from computer science, directly apply it to my college career, and then directly apply that to my job. I would definitely recommend to find what you're passionate about early and get the opportunity to expose yourself to it. I feel that it's a great opportunity for the high school students of Ocean County to take advantage of this program to get you ready for the challenges ahead for them, either going to school or jumping right into the business of the food service industry. Graduates know OCVTS teaches the skills you'll need and use throughout your professional career. So now you know exactly what OCVTS is and what it can do for you. It's a great way to gain knowledge and experience in your future field. And it doesn't interfere with your high school education, sports, or activities. It enriches them using a hands-on approach to apply what you're already learning to your specific interests. So if you like what you see and you want to get practical training, earn college credits, and most of all, have fun, talk to your guidance counselor today about enrolling into a course at OCVTS. Remember, life's a journey. Better get good direction.